to Lucas, we are going to be looking at creating a little Minecraft style character. In fact, we're going to use the Minecraft proportions for this. Um, and we're going to add some extra ligature and armature to it so that the character can move around and we can animate it a little bit. You'll also be able to use any Minecraft skin you want for this. And uh, as you can see here, I've got just some generic dude that I downloaded. Um, but the, the character is fully posable. So I can rotate that arm, can rotate it along the Y axis, spin it up on the X axis. If I change this here, we can see that the bones deform with it. Same with this leg down here. I can rotate that, spin it around the X axis. And so we'll be able to, and I can change that like that. And it's deforming the base mesh, which is like this. Now, we're actually going to make ours in a, in a default T-pose rather than this here, and it will work out a little bit better for us. So the first video is going to focus on the modeling. The second video will focus on the UV unwrapping, and then the third one will focus on the armature. So you can skip to whichever video you want if you're confident in actually modeling this. It's a pretty simple build. The UV um, unwrapping is the next one, and uh, then the armature build and I'm going to build it slightly different to what I have here is going to be in the third one. Let's go ahead create a new one of these. I'm going to use default head size and I'm going to move that up. I'm going to turn on incremental snapping here. So when I move it up, it moves it up by one unit at a time. I'll move it up to there. Uh, I haven't, I'm not sure how far I moved it up, maybe eight units. I'm going to add in a new mesh, a cube. Now this cube is gonna be the body. So what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to uh, scale it along the X, sorry, along the Y axis, 0.5. Okay, so this is the thickness of the body. If this here is um, one, two squares, the body is four deep, and then there's another two there. So the body is half the width of the, the head. Um, but it is a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go into edit mode and select the bottom unit here and hit G and Z and pull it down one unit. So now it is, if like there's there's 12 pixels on it and the default width here is four pixels. So the cube was then eight pixels. So we pulled it down another four pixels. That's how it's gonna work when we, when we apply a texture to it. Now for the arm, uh, same deal. I'm gonna add a mesh, a cube. And I'm gonna scale this down to 0.5 and then hit G, X, move it this way. Actually, I'm not gonna scale it down to 0.5. I'm just gonna delete that one. I'm gonna get this body here, Shift D and move it along there. Uh, now for making this here, I'm going to get face mode and I'm gonna bring it in one unit. So G, X. This is actually a little bit wide and I need to bring it in just a bit more uh, in order to make it uh, work with the newer style of Minecraft skin. So I'm gonna hit G, X, like that way, and I'm gonna type 0.25, okay, and that's gonna make it the right width. Now I'm gonna duplicate that, move it over the other side here, and in this case, I want it to snap to that. Now there's a few ways I can do this. I know that it's 0.25 units away, so I can hit G, X, negative 0.25, and hit enter. But there is another way to do snapping, and it's with vertexes. Now sometimes it's a little bit fiddly. But what I wanna do is kind of position my mouse here, hit G, and then snap it to that vertex there. And that looks pretty good. Now the leg is gonna be add mesh cube. And I'm just gonna turn that back on increment snapping. Um, the leg's pretty easy. I'm gonna hit tab, go into that, and I'm going to rescale it this way and change all the origins in a moment. So G, X, that way. And then S, uh, I'm back in edit object mode, S, Y, 0.5. Now you could have done that first. Now the leg is too short, so we do need to go back into edit mode and pull this down one unit. Now there's our leg, and I can move that up and duplicate it and move it across. Now we've pretty much got our Minecraft character. These are the proportions uh, that we're going to be using. You'll see all my origins are off. So I'm just gonna select everything. I'm gonna delete the light, I don't need that. I'm gonna delete the camera, I don't need that. Select everything, right click, 
set origin to geometry. That's going to reposition the origins in the center of everything. Now for this, we're not going to join everything up yet. It's going to make it much easier to unwrap it in the next video uh, when we go ahead and um, unwrap it and apply a texture to it. So currently we're just going to leave them all as separate objects. If you have already joined them, for example, I will do it. You want to go into it, select P and then separate by loose parts. That'll put them back all as separate objects, but their origins will have changed. So you'll have to right click set origin origin to geometry and that'll put it back there. So I'm going to save this as Minecraft Joe and we'll be back in the next video to unwrap this and apply some textures to it.